Taş, nasıl şey uzmanı? Okay. So let me uh, share the content once again. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, I'm just I'm started sharing the content. So the as we were discussed about the four A's of stress management. You know, avoid unnecessary stress. So, how many of you have the assertiveness to say? No, when the people asking you to, you know, do their work for you, you know, from you. So, if you have the you know, guts to say no, when they ask you to do, means there is no stress at all. So, we'll have to avoid this unnecessary stress. Because People, you know, simply they, uh, you know, wanted to ruin our time, energy for the sake of their work getting done. So that, you know, not necessarily, you know, uh, it's not necessary, first of all. So we'll have to, you know, uh, have, you know, this kind of um, assertiveness, you know, we'll have to prepare ourselves, we'll have to practice ourselves to avoid these kind of unnecessary situations. And then alter the situation. If things going worse, you know, the situation, you know, uh, is going worse and that simply ruins your, you know, mode, you know, uh, it gives you, you know, uh, the bad uh, impact on yourself. So why don't you no, alter the situation like you know uh, just come out of that particular you know place or you know uh, it, it start interacting with your friends your family members or you know try to you know give yourself to uh, you know the uh, activities or the work which you are really interested in or why don't you learn for a new you know uh, skill like you know learning an instrument or you know prayer or you know the meeting friends, going for a walking. So these are the you know situations where you can alter yourselves, and that gives you more confidence. That you know enable you to you know uh, to give you yourself better. Like you know you are resilient. You know you will become the resilient. You know come out of the setbacks. So you have the you know tendency. You have the confidence to come out of these kind of situations. You are the one, you know, the desider is not anybody, that is you. So you have the art of, you know, changing the situation because everything is in your hand, but we people are not looking in ourselves, you know, we are always, you know, looking at others and see our problems, you know, we are asking somebody's, you know, opinions. Yes, I know uh, they don't know our situations, our problems and all, but we are looking others to give, you know, possible solutions to our problems. It's, you know, really odd, you know. So try to avoid this kind of, those kind of situations and uh, sit and, you know, um, look whatever the problems you have, what situation you are in. Automatically, you know, uh, you will have uh, you know, the possible solutions. And then adapt the stressor. So, you know, if there is no point of escaping from the situation, right? You know, you have to be, you know, for example, as I told you, when the work or, you know, the job, what you are doing, that is not likable by you, or, you know, that's really uh, gives you, uh, you know, uh, uh, know, dissatisfaction, but, 
try to adapt that, you know, uh, like how I have told you, you know, establish the connection. Automatically, you know, uh, how we have, uh, uh, you know, uh, connected, uh, how we have established the relationship with your, you know, the spouse, your family members. Same way, if you start, you know, looking up the positives of your, you know, uh, that uh, uh, situations, automatically you'll start coming out of that. Then, you know, whenever we are in a uh, you know, uh, negative mode, then often, you know, we are not looking the positives. So try to concentrate on your positives and automatically that gives you more, you know, um, what do you call it? That gives you more confidence and, uh, you know, uh, that gives you a sense of, uh, you know, satisfaction. Yes, I have done something good in my life. And why I'm always, you know, cursing myself. Why don't I come out of my situation? Yes, this is what I am. So always you keep, you know, positively you're thinking, you know, think about yourself. You are giving, you know, pat on yourself. So this gives you, you know, the positive uh, positivity. You know, obviously you will come across your situation. Then accept the things that you cannot change. Yes, of course. We'll have to accept it, first of all, you know. Uh, otherwise, you know, if we keep on blaming, you know, yes, I'm going to see this word. And if I were uh, somebody, if I were, you know, become a millionaire, if I were a teacher, if I were, what is the problem? Right? See, first of all, you have to thank, you know, the Lord Almighty that you have something, you know, Better than nothing, you know, you have something, right? So why don't you, you know, uh, accept that situation, you know, the self-admitting, you know, the acceptance that gives you more value, that gives you more benefits. So we know that, you know, it's, that cannot be changed. Then what is the meaning of, you know, keep, uh, you know, describing that situation? No, no not necessary. So, accept it you know you'll have to accept the situation where you are in and start finding out the solutions you know this is what i am yes this is what the situation i'm in and what would be the possible you know solutions to come out of this situation whether it is a huge financial setback or it is you know the uh, breakups or you know it is the family issues or it is a you know crisis. So whatever it is, you know, it, yes, this is you know life. See, if there is no such you know uh, challenging in our life, then the uh, no life will become bored, right? So all sort of uh, you know uh, situation should come up. See, wherever you are, you know, whatever problems you have, and you should know how to solve it, how to know um uh, you know effectively solve with your you know positive mind but people are saying you know see i'm uh, why it's happening only to me why it's happening you know uh, um, it's not happening to others all everybody started leading their life so happily why not me why the you know god has given me only the problems to me so these and all the pro, you know, simply, you know, just, you know, they are beating around the bush, you know. They are not looking up, or they are not focusing on their, you know, problems. And simply, they are, you know, losing themselves. If you start keeping, you know, keep blaming on others, or, you know, you, are, you keep blaming on yourself, that means you are insulting yourself. So, Obviously, you are, you'll be under stress because you are uh, stop, you know, you, you start degrading yourselves. You start, you know, uh, insulting yourselves. So automatically what happens, you know, you will become, a, you know, big enemy to yourself. See, uh, you have the, you know, capability of making yourself a friend or enemy. If you are, you know, making yourself a friend, automatically, you know, you will start finding everything is so perfect, you know, comfortable. 
then you will be able to uh, find you know the people so friendly see what you are in the same you will be out with others you know you will be uh, interacting with others I mean just like a mirror you know what you are seeing in you are, you know you are reflecting outside so if you are a good friend of yours then you, you know i am uh, sure enough you will be a very good of this world you will be very good friend of this world if you are a you know enemy to yourself means you are not listening to yourself you are not you uh, know uh, deciding you know with yourself and you are always wondering the opinions from others you know you are not at all listening so automatically you know what happens yourself is not going to listen to you and it simply ask somebody's help i am telling you you are the best uh, you know the planner the decider smart thinker because the god has given us a well sophisticated system that is our body and mind you no know? so how do we effectively utilizing it how do we wisely you know uh, using it where we are otherwise you know we are always working for somebody's dream i'm telling you they are using us as tools you know automatically you know we'll start blaming on others and we will you know will um, you know uh, keep insulting on ourselves then obviously we are we'll be under stress that's right no if you are not good enough means what you are not you know you are not in a good term with yourself so things will go out of your control then i know always you have to depend on others please try to depend on yourself not on others if you start depending on others sure you will be under stress next and then yeah this is what i said you know uh, so alter the situation as i told you express your feelings instead of bottling them up you know so you have to open up your, your mind you know instead of uh, you know keep everything within you why don't you you know uh, talk to us your friends you know communicate you know be you know uh, open minded and be willing to compromise you know when you ask someone to change their behavior be willing to do the same if you both are willing to bend at least a little you will have a good chance of finding happy middle ground you know how you know you are uh, um, making yourself to be compromised with not only you with you know the people you know with others as i told you how you are compromising yourself you will be compromised with everybody how you are you know so uh, you know what you call narrow minded the same will be reflected with others so be as you are and you know refine yourself create balanced you know schedule you know uh, all work and no play is a recipe for burnt out so try to find a balance between work and family life yes there are people always you know running behind their business they are not even looking after their families there are people always they are you know have so concern about their families but they are not good in their work so both are not good so instead try to have a balanced schedule you know whatever the work you have to do at work please finish it off there itself don't take all of your family sorry office issues to home and the same the vice versa when you are at home finish all of your home issues at home don't take all of your family issues and you know take it to office and you start thinking over there so it's obviously is going to be a mismatch then you will be end up with stress because you are not balancing your you know life whether it is work life or a family life right so we have to you know uh, have a balanced uh, schedule and let us have a habit you know let us have a practice you know and watch yeah 
thought that becomes your action become you know your action becomes your character then your character becomes your destiny so this is what the life is all about so we'll have to you know well balanced with all of our you know virtues you know uh, how do we behave at home how do we behave at office we cannot behave you know uh, at work like we behave at no our, our home right so we should know how to be um, you know uh, how to um, be perfect in all terms in life, whether it is a work life or in a you know family life next is so reframe problems so try to view stressful situations from a more positive perspectives rather than you know fuming about a traffic jam look at it as an opportunity to pause and regroup as i told you you know adapt with the stressor you know uh, this what my problem yes and how to manage those stressful situations look at the big picture ask yourself how important it will be in the long run yes are you you know uh, taking you know uh, that particular problem and will it be effective for the long run or i have to cut short that particular time you know it's i am not going to take you know the uh, that particular uh, you know problem throughout my life so the choice is yours you know you are the decider as i told you so you'll have to you know, focus yourself you have to you know give your you know effort on it and decide practice gratitude that is also another you know it's a beautiful you know uh, with you you know uh, if you have the habit of you know extending your gratitude you know that gives you sense of you know uh, satisfaction and you know the sense of um, you know uh, the mindfulness you know so automatically if you start appreciating others you know uh, whatever you know what they have done to you and you know the qualities you know what they uh, you know uh, you are simply you know uh, you have admired you know the qualities of others just give your you know appreciations it's not going to you know uh, what do you call it? it's not going to harm you so it's a very simple gift very you know uh, the gift what you're giving only appreciations it will make your day and their day you know you know better way otherwise you know what happens if you don't have the feeling of you know gratitude what happens and that particular you know the atmosphere the situation will not be good you know whatever you are getting it from others and you are not saying anything you know so at least you know what they are expecting from you is thank you the gratitude you know and the same will come return to you so the simple strategy can help you things in perspective you know the perception how well you are perceiving this life you know so how do you you know having the interaction with the people the you know uh, the how you communicate with people how do you interact with the people it's everything you know try to extend your gratitude appreciate people appreciate their you know uh, uh, what do you call their uh, work this and all you know uh, see the most of the you know family issues you know problems happening because of you know this particular issue you know whenever the wife you know is uh, trying to prepare some you know delicious dish and she is expecting the appreciation from you why don't you give that you know when you know when you have done something and you are obviously you will expect something you know some what they are going to say say if nobody is saying anything then what what would be your response you will be so what you know you will if, you know you will feel bad right so give your appreciations give your gratitude it's not going to harm you at all don't try to control the uncontrollable yes 
we are spending our most of our time you know simply controlling which is not going to be controllable so many things in our life are beyond our control particularly the behavior of other people why do you want to correct others behaviors none of our business especially you know this happens you know the family setup you know family people you know the members of the family always they do have different opinions they do have different uh, you know uh, thoughts so we cannot uh, you know uh, address all of their issues all of their you know thought processes it's their uh, problems it's their perception so we cannot you know you know bang our uh, you know head for their uh, problems you know so try to be what you are and don't you know put your nose to somebody's problems then that will not you know be a very good you know uh, it will not be a good habit and also it will give you you know a better experience only so rather than stressing out over them focus on the things you can control such as the way you choose to react to problems so you have to you know focus on solutions not on the problems right so how do you react to that problem and what you want it really and how to you know uh, solve the problem what you have and what the other people have so if you are helping somebody to solve the problems then okay fine but should know your limits look for the upside when facing major challenges try to look at them as opportunities for personal growth if your own poor choices contributed to a stressful situation reflect on them and learn from your mistakes yes so always you know we we'll have to learn from our mistakes whatever we have done in our past you know just uh, take it as a reference and try to overcome those you know uh the problems with our uh, past you know uh, experiences that gives really a guide you know the past experiences will be the you know uh guide for us to learn from the new mistake you know uh, to learn from the lessons you know learn to forgive yes so if you have the habit of you know giving you know forgiveness so automatically you'll be mind free so you don't have you know you you know nothing to worry about it because you have you forgive somebody you know if you have the habit of you know forgiveness that automatically they you know will make you so calm that will make you so you know satisfied you know the self satisfaction as i told you sense of satisfaction you no know, obviously you know if somebody is trying you know making mistakes yes it's okay fine and nobody is in this world is perfect right so don't try to be you know 100% perfect and don't expect the others also to be 100% perfect there are some problems if problems you know means uh, there is a mistake means he is a human if he is not committing a mistake means he is not human so each and every one of us keep you know having you know you know keep making mistakes and we are learning out of it and so what is the need of having resentments free yourself from negative energy by forgiving and moving on so we keep you know uh, cultivating this habit you know forgiving others so we we'll have to set ourselves as a role model to our younger generation so whatever we are doing it whatever we are you know uh, showing to our younger generation they'll simply they'll follow our footsteps so we'll have to be the well defined role model share your feelings expressing what you are going through can be very cathartic you know even if there is nothing you can do alter the stressful situation so talk to a trusted friend or make an appointment with a the therapist so 
you don't you know feel like to you know share your feelings to everybody also not necessary so try to find you know a good friend intimate friend you know where you know he will not disclose your secrets or she will disclose she will not disclose your secrets or you know you you know prayer is the best remedy of yourselves you know whatever uh, you know problems you have you know the one and only person where you can share you know your lord almighty or you know if you want to you know meet a professional therapist if you you know uh, feel better means you are uh, comfortable with that please go ahead so you have to ventilate your feelings you know whatever you have come across in your you know daily life now how do you make yourself better way and how to wipe out your stressful you know feelings and that gives you a very good remedy so get moving you know put on some music dance around take your dog for a walk so walk or cycle to the grocery store so these are the you know the suggestive you know uh, tips i am giving here to come out of your stressful situations have a jolly walk you know evening walk you know or listen some music or you know pray pray it, you know or you know if you want to walk you know you don't want to use your elevator you just climb up the stairs stairs and then exercise you know play an instrument or an activity so all these you know pro, you know uh, tips you know will make you stress free connect to others you know reach out to your colleague colleague at work help someone else by volunteering have lunch or coffee with a friend so connecting you know obviously uh, throughout the uh, day we have been working and we are uh, having you know tight schedules you know we do have deadlines and how to you know relax ourselves how do we you know make our mind free so by doing all this you know um then what else yes so set aside leisure time do something you enjoy every day keep your sense of humor take up relax relaxation practice so uh, what i'm deciding now, now just i'm going to uh, give you some technique which you know gives you some relaxation so shall i start now okay so all of you allow yourself and your body to begin to relax i am going to you know take you on to a different destination imagine yourself walking on a path through a forest i hope you all close your eyes imagine yourself walking on a path through a forest the path is soft beneath your shoes a mixture of soil fallen leaves as you walk your body relaxes and mind clears more and more with each step you take breathe in the fresh mountain air filling your lungs completely now exhale breathe out of the air feeling refreshed take another deep breath in revitalizing and breathe out completely letting your body 
relax further. Continue to breathe slowly and deeply as you walk through the forest and continue the forest visualization. The air is cool, but comfortable. Listen to the sounds of the forest. Birds singing, a gentle breeze blowing. Your body relaxes more and more as you walk more and more as you walk. Breathe in. Hold for a moment. Exhale. Breathe in. Hold for a moment. Exhale. As you walk through the forest visualization, feel your muscles relaxing and lengthening as your arms swing in rhythm with your walking they become loose relaxed the breeze continues to blow the tree tops but you are sheltered on the path and the air around you is calm. Around you is an immense array of greens where you see green carpet like grass. You sat down and stretched your legs and slowly lying down. It is very comfortable. You feel very comfortable and at ease. Relax. Relax. Yes, I know you are relaxing. Smell the forest around you. The air is fresh and filled with the scent of trees, soil, and mountain streams. You can hear the sound of water faintly in the distance. Your body becomes very warm and very heavy. Continue to breathe the clean, fresh air. You feel so relaxed, calm, relax, at peace, in unity with nature around you. Enjoy the sights, sounds, and smells of the forest around you. Feel the sun. Feel the sun. Warm on your skin. Feel the gentle breeze blow across your cheek. Enjoy this peaceful pace. Relax. Relax, relax. Now you can open your eyes slowly, slowly, slowly. You come back to normal, you come back to normal. Relax, relax. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I'm hearing you. Well, uh, sir, it was so wonderful to listen to you, and uh, I also like the exercise that you have narrated at the end of your uh, session. And I hope uh, yes, the participants would have benefited very much. Uh, so now I request the participants uh, you, to send your questions to uh, uh, questions to my webinar feedback at gmail dot com, and any questions okay. that is addressed to sir will be forwarded to him, and we will get back to you. Sir, now it is time sure. for us to give you the word of thanks on behalf of the core team and the organizers of this webinar. We are very much pleased to thank okay. you for your uh, valuable insights on stress management, sir. It has been so nice to listen to you and you have been patiently explaining step by step. And I think uh, we can always collect in our mind. You have always been talking about how to love ourselves and what are the importances of acceptance in life for stress management. And how to notice simpler yes. things around us to feel free from stress. So these are the nice uh, takeaways from your session, sir. Thank you so much. And we also thank the participants uh, who have attended the session today. See you all tomorrow in another session. The same link, same time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Welcome. Thank you.